Good morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Day two of my Great Loop adventure. I had got my alternator fixed. Mechanic came yesterday and replaced it. We tested it out. Uh, just a short run here at the dock. So today will be the acid test for it. It's a beautiful day. Nice and calm. No wind. It's absolutely dead calm. I mean, just a slight bit of wind probably on the outside, but uh, inside the marina it's calm. So it'll be much more enjoyable going through that really narrow drawbridge that the wind killed me <laughs> the other day. I've got provisions for about four days. Actually more, but for, for a good uh, meal for four days. So let's take off and see what the day has in store. Thanks, sir. Thank you. I'm going to keep my speed up this time so I have some authority on my rudders. And what a difference with no wind blowing at my side. I have the absolutely flat dead calm right here. So now the boat handles perfectly. Oh man, nice. What a difference when it's calm out. I can actually use the steering wheel. Beautiful. Well, day two, let's see what's in store. Hopefully the rest of the trip's gonna be flat calm like this. I know I'm dreaming, right? But it is one beautiful day. Look at the sun glaring off the water. Wow, just gorgeous. 
All right. Let's get on course and start making some time. Entering Hallover Canal, just north of Cape Canaveral. Brings back memories. Years ago, shrimping all night long. I found this spot just on the south side of the train trestle off of uh, Cape Canaveral. And there's a Falcon 9 launch tonight. So that'll be a nice view from here. I can look over to my right and see it on the pad. And the train trestle is right there. Try and park over in that area out of the wind where those two boats are at. Well, so far I've got eight feet depth coming in. Six feet. Getting a little shallower, five eight. Five and a half, let's slow down. write-ups say that it gets shallower and then it'll get a little deeper once you get over this little shoal. So hopefully that's the case. Okay, I've set my anchor. We're going to see if it's going to hold. I'm in a nice little cove protected from the northwest wind. There's two other boats here. One appears to be a looper. I can't see what the other one is. breeze. I think we're good. Okay, I'm at anchor here and the anchor's holding nicely. And I keep hearing, I'm inside and I'm hearing, you know, the water slapping on the hull, which I expected, but I'm also hearing this squeaky, 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 squeaky. And I don't know what it is. And I looked to see if it was coming from one of the other two boats and it doesn't appear to be. It appears to be coming from my boat. And I think I tracked it down. And it's going to drive me nuts unless I fix it. I don't know if the camera picks that up. But that little... Squeaky tappy, squeaky tappy, squeaky tappy as it goes back and forth resonates right through the fiberglass of the boat and inside it's amplified and it's just driving me crazy. I don't know how people could put up with that. It's it's hard to explain how loud that is on the boat where the, um, the brass is touching the side of the, the metal and it's making this little sound. I don't know if I can... I don't think the GoPro is going to pick it up. Anyway. So, we got to fix it. got to fix it now. So, we got to get rid of these clips. tie wraps on it.
much better. Tie wraps holding it, and tie wraps don't make any noise. Beautiful, easy. I don't know why, but something that I would not normally care much for eating at home, it's something that's offbeat like this, it tastes so good after a day in the sun. I don't know why. I mean, I could even eat mustard sardines out of a can on some crackers after a day in the sun, and, and it's it goes down easy. At home, I would probably puke. I, I know if there's something the sun does to your brain, I guess, allows you to want different kinds of food like this uh, sauerkraut. All right, the boat is swinging back and forth because of the wind. So I'm going to take this anchor here and toss it out that way. I'm using the thrusters to get me way over there. Guess I'm gonna throw it to get a little extra distance. Don't hate me, I know you're not supposed to throw an anchor. Just a little toss. Oh, it's around my leg, it's around my leg. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and this is a aluminum fortress anchor. They stick in the mud like crazy. And it's hard, dark mud here. Okay, let's see what that does. I hope I swung the boat far enough to the side. I may have to drop the dinghy and bring it way out there. Let's try to keep them doing that. Okay, I give up. I made a mess. I pulled the anchor back in because the boat swung over on top of the anchor again. And it's covered with black mud. And it got all over me, all over my shirt and pants and everything. So um, I'm just going to drop the dinghy. Go do it right. <laughs> Oh, great. Put the plug in, Michael. I'm going to sink it. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. Oh, I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> okay, plugs in. We're floating. And pull the releases. Okay, we're free. Now, let's see if it'll start. Oh, um... I guess I'll remember to get the key. Or did I ever, did I remember to get the key? No. Because I'm, I'm such a bonehead. Such a bonehead. Okay. Let's go get the key. Okay, let's see if I can get back on there now. It's the wind blowing me, the boat's sliding back and forth. Wind's taking my little rubber raft here all over the place. I got the engine turned sideways, it's still blowing me. I can't get back to the boat. All right, coming in for a landing. Gotta get close and kill the engine. And grab it. Ah, oh, I made it. Awesome. Okay, all stop. Oh man, everything's an adventure. Just 
at least I went ahead and spent the money to do an automatic davit system. And I am so glad I did. Couldn't imagine dealing with anything all manual by myself. Okay, all you gotta do is hook those two chains up, click there, one, and one here, and then pull the plug back out. All right, water's coming in, but as soon as I raise it up, water will come out. Look at that, coming in like crazy. Am I gonna sink? Oh no, help me! Okay, I'm out. And also you can use the davit to climb out with. And the boat's all hooked up. How easy was that? And then all you gotta do is turn this thing on and say lift. Oh, 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 chain is twisted. Oh, oh, not good. Chain's twisted. Ow, foot hurts. I stepped on the rub. <laughs> Ah, oh, I stepped on a cleat. Oh, not good. What's going on here? Okay, hook it back up. Okay. Give a little bit of pressure. There you go. That'll hold the boat steady so I can climb out. Nice. And then lift it up. Okay. Got two out, one there, one there. And I can't find my bridle. Bridle's supposed to hook up and keep this from rubbing in here and takes the tension off of the Davit, I mean the uh, windlass. I know I have it on the boat, but I just can't find it. And I'm not feeling comfortable with that rubbing right there. Not at all. So I may have to come up with a temporary solution. Wow. Check this out. I'm uh, parked across from the Falcon 9 that's going to launch tonight. And they got it all lit up. Awesome. Here's uh, my TV. And there's the rocket right outside. No, it looks like it was a cloud layer. I don't think so. It was clear out. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Okay, problem of the morning. I was leaving and my secondary anchor rope line uh, I put on a ball because I couldn't pull it up by myself while I'm pulling my anchor up. So it was floating out there and I got beside it and I ran over the damn thing. So I've got it tied off to a cleat. It's down under the prop. I didn't wrap it in the prop. I put it in neutral as I floated over it, but of course it caught. Probably caught on the, one of the uh, rudders. So I've got it pulled up. I'm going to cleat it off, cut it on the ball side. At least there's a ball on there, so I'm hopefully the ball will float up. That's the plan, anyway. Always something. So I don't lose it. I'm gonna cut it.
cut this side. Hopefully it stays there. the ball. There it is. Come on. You better be loose. Yes. Thank you. I tell you, handling it one person is a pain in the butt. I had to run upstairs, downstairs, deal with the anchor and the throttles and oh boy. Okay, um this is messy. I'm gonna leave it hanging over to yeah. Screw it. Now, how am I going to get that in? Um, let me think here. I guess I'm going to put the ball on it again. And drive over to it in a better fashion. Well, still, it's going to be... A... I'm going to have to lower the dinghy. This doesn't make any sense. came loose oh my gosh don't let anybody ever tell you these fortress anchors aren't any good these things will hold a tank lightweight man they sick that was <laughs> that was not fun Well, I finally made it into uh, Safe Harbor. I'm at the Halifax Marina in Daytona. Um, it was a beautiful trip, very nice, a little windy, so it was uh, quite a bit of chop on the intracoastal. One of the things I noticed on the trip was that I had a slight vibration on my starboard uh, shaft prop somewhere in there. It wasn't bad. In fact, I'm very picky, so I probably am the only one that would notice it. If um, if I pull back on the port engine, you could feel a starboard one, just this very slight vibration. Uh, nothing that's a problem, and it's probably been there forever, but I just started to really pick up on it. So I've called a diver to come over and pull the props off and send them off to have them uh, balanced. So I'll be here for a few days.